Hi, my name is Vince DiLorenzo, the Dynabreed Corporate Trainer. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the features of our model 14360 pipe belt finisher. The tool is a 0.7 horsepower motor and it runs at 3400 RPMs free speed using a planetary gear set to help maintain a consistent speed and finish when working on your workpieces. The tool is designed for grinding, blending, and polishing of any round tube from 5 eighths of an inch all the way up to a 6 inch diameter and can conform 180 degrees around that pipe with the use of the idler arm setup on the belt housing. So the tool can run coated or non-woven abrasives and will run half inch wide all the way up to one and a half inch wide by 30 inch long belts. As you can see here, our one and a half inch wide by 30 inch belts. So again, using the tool for uh, setting the grain, you'd be using a coated abrasive and then you can come back for your blend and polish using a non-woven. So I'm gonna demonstrate that quickly, coming in with a coated abrasive here to set the grain. Then I'll show you a belt change coming in with our non-woven to finish the blend. So setting the grain here with our coated abrasive. <laughs> Using the tension of the belt housing to conform around that pipe. So now we can come in and do our belt change. We've already set the grain. So in order to do the belt change, you'll simply relieve the tension on the idler arms here by, by pulling the idler arm in. Pull your belt off. Take your belt of choice, in this case a medium non-woven belt. Wrap it around your drive wheel, conform it around your idler wheels, and then release the tension. That's going to allow it to conform over the idler wheels and allow you to run your tool again. Now coming in with your non-woven to blend and polish your final step. So as I was demoing this, you had saw how I had worked around the pipe, but another really great feature of this tool is the ability with a wing nut on the back here to loosen this and be able to adjust the belt housing to conform to the workpiece. So you can actually move to the workpiece as opposed to having to move the workpiece itself. This allows you a much greater uh, range of motion and the ability to attack your workpiece. So that summarizes our 14360. For any other questions or concerns, please visit our website.